am kuna Joas Akiki the head teacher of this school called Kijwenge Primary School My name is uh, Paul Mlindwa and I work with uh, an organization called Chitara Civil Society Organizations Network. Um, it's a network of NGOs of civil society working in Bunyoro sub-region. My name is Jen Kiai. I work as a senior program associate for civil society strengthening here at Uganda National NGO Forum. So Uganda National NGO Forum is an organization uh, that provides a sharing and reflection platform for NGOs in Uganda. We have been working with the uh, Uganda National NGO Forum on a uh, program giving for change. We don't implement the project like directly, but we work through these advocacy networks. So the advocacy networks uh, give also work with uh, facilitators who reach down to the community. So for us, we just implement with through the advocacy networks, and then they also have the people who implement directly on the ground, and that is the community facilitators. The wind of change moving from Kidenge. The wind of change now in Kidenge. Cooperation and hard work in Kidenge school is moving forward. Those government-aided schools have a number of challenges. For example, one of the schools we work with Kijwenge um, Primary School in Kakumiro District. With an enrollment of uh, over 500 children, pupils, it gets 2 million Uganda shillings from uh, the centre for the whole term. So that, that money is to feed children, is to uh, buy scholastic materials, is to do all things. Practically, it's not possible. So what we do uh, together with the uh, schools is to mobilize parents to contribute to the education of their children. One of the parents by the names of Nachiintu decided to cook for the teachers so that they can have meals at school to avoid escaping. That one was sort of, she started immediately that real day preparing meals on her own food. Then two, parents uh, proposed to bring maize, provide porridge, provide porridge for the teachers and their learners. So these parents contributed maize, uh, four kilograms per parent. These are around four cups, uh, no, 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 eight cups, so that the children can get porridge and teachers get porridge. We think that has many benefits uh, uh, for, for, for the community to own their own projects, other than for them to see the projects as alien uh, services, to see uh, schools as, as, as if they are not their, their own uh, service point. So this program has been very great in, in that direction. Uh, Kison, our network in Bunyoro, selected me as one of the civil society member in the Kison and took me for training in NGO forum, Uganda NGO forum, as a facilitator for community mobilization. So I was trained in Arua, in Guru, in Kampara on how to give for change and how to, to mobilize the community to solve their own problems within their means, within their resources. Training for community facilitators is um, a five-day training, uh, but over time they, they, they have what you call refresher trainings. They keep going back uh, on an annual basis uh, to, to refresh, um, on, 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 but also to share experiences. You know, in a community we have some people who are always negative, who have negative perceptions and they are not easy to Put in line. But uh, with the training we got from uh, NGO Forum and uh, Giving for Change, it helped me to really bring them on board, whereby I called meetings and uh, where it was open meeting. Everybody has a right to, this, to share. 
You know, in the communities there is a mindset that everything should come from government. But we had to train the facilitators to take the, the, the training down, really make it uh, so local and try to talk to the people whom they work with, the communities, that the giving is actually possible. They can do their own giving and change their communities. Actually, this school has only um, six classrooms, and yet it is a B7 school, and it has a nursery section. So, last year, last year we had organized a fundraising to construct the staff quarters for our teachers, because here in this county, we don't have teachers who are born on this place. So they come from very far, around 10 kilometers, seven. They have to travel every day come to school and the roads are not good. So we had, and sometimes they end up absenting themselves because of those factors. So we had proposed to have some, like six rooms as staff quarters so that the teachers can sleep around. Even the HTML may come from very far, around the 70 kilometers from here, but I have to reside <laughs> to rent. So we are proposing to have staff quarters so that it can reduce the absenteeism of teachers and they come in. So we met with parents, we discussed, and some of the parents contributed the sand. You can see one of the hips was brought here. Uh, they had proposed to make bricks here. Then we invite some well wishers, uh, politicians, to bring iron seeds and cement. So in that process, uh, a border came in and it, it, we ended the term prematurely, so it is separate. But on the board, we still have that program. This year, we are planning to mobilize resources, we are fundraising on how we can construct the staff quarters and one classroom broke at least as we wait for government. So we have many programs, two, one to complete the fencing of the school. The, the community members are the ones who fence that one, the, the school. Ndi musanyi fukubango mwana wanga kira na agenda kusomero na akoma wo ni nchana dayo na asoma. Chevang kunga abazade bona abo kuchalo kuno Tusitukiremu kale fena tusoboro kusitule somero lia fe kubanga fetu, era fetu ino li situla. Nga faba zade, teri mulala inza kuli situlo kuja ko faba zade kubanga fetu ino kutuwa alamana bafe mmaso, fetu ino kubafa ako. So mbade nkubitiza bazade banange, okusitukira wamu, tukuatile wamu. Echintu chigende mwuma asabana bafe baso nebulu. And from the stories, we really uh, got that the training was so good, it was relevant to their own engagements. And so they've been able to come up with stories from the giving in schools, how they have been able to impact uh, their own communities through like uh, the construction of pit latrines, the construction of schools. They now know how to advocate for the development of the projects within their communities.